What's up, guys? It's your boy, Justin. I got back from the mall. I finally pre-ordered um, Live Alive and and Digimon Survive. And while I was there, uh, I, I went to the to chapters and picked up some graphic novels. So I'm going to show you some graphic novels and books that I picked up. Some of these books I didn't I didn't get at at the mall. That I just I just held off on like you know uh, showing them because I wanted to wait till I got more books. So like the first thing I'm showing you is uh, the New Fifty Two, The Flash, Volume One, Moving Forward by Francis Francis Manipal and Brian Buchetto, which I have the first issue of this series. I uh, didn't like it, which is why I didn't buy the trade back in the day, but. Uh, you know, I saw this at the dollar store. I saw this at the dollar store, so I thought oh, I'll pick it up and I'll review it. Why not? Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've reviewed any Flash uh, books on this uh, channel. Which most of my Flash books is, are written by Jeff Johns, but uh, you know, at some point maybe I'll review those. Okay, next book I picked up. Let's do the DC stuff first. I finally picked up the Green Lantern Season 2, Volume 1. Written by Grant Morrison with art by Liam Sharp. This was like 40 bucks. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to review this. I, I've, I've liked... Uh, so I, I liked... From what I've reviewed, I liked... Grant Morrison's Green Lantern run. I know people say Grant Morrison is woke now and everything, but you know what? As long as he's still a good writer, I don't care. And he's always been a leftist. Like, let's be real. Like, okay. Ah, uh, Deathstroke, no. Which, when I was there, oh shit. When I was there, they had like this Deathstroke R.I.P. book, and I almost picked it up. So, the cheapest graphic novel, besides from the $4 one at the dollar store, I picked up King Spawn Volume 1 by Sean Lewis and Javi Fernandez with Tom uh, Fernandez and uh, Todd McFarlane. I think that's how you pronounce uh, the one dude's name. Yeah, so this uh, collects the f first six issues of King Spawn. Which I reviewed the first issue of King Spawn. Wasn't a huge fan of it, but you know what? I thought I'd pick it up. You know. And uh, the interiors are pretty cool. Yeah, I paid. Well, that's the thing with, with uh, Spawn or Image Comics. They always sell the, their first volume for cheap, right? So that. Uh, so that's why I picked it up. <laughs> so hopefully it's good. I, yeah, it's like 10 US. I paid like, uh, 14 Canadian for it. And, uh, last graphic novel I picked up is Secret Reverse by Kazuki Takahashi. The creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! created this, uh, Spider-Man and Iron Man graphic novel, which, uh, Kazuki Takahashi, um... Uh, passed away recently on July 6th, right, of a uh, diving accident, right? And, uh, you know, I wasn't going to do anything special, but, you know, I saw this there, so I thought, oh, I might as well uh, pick it up and review it. It's 17 U.S., 23 Canadian, 14 U.K. Uh, this was uh, a joint effort by Marvel and Viz Media. And, uh, it's not in black or white, it's in color. I heard this sucks, because it's basically, uh, it's basically Spider-Man and Iron Man go to Japan to play a card game. <laughs> but, you know what, I thought, you know, let's, I thought I'd check it out. Alright. It doesn't even look like old school Yu-Gi-Oh's art style. Maybe it's just because of the inks, or his, like, his art style's changed. Yeah, I, I've heard this book sucked, but you know what? We'll review it and give it a shot, right? So now I'm going to show off some books I got. Uh, all of these books I got like a long-ass time ago, but you know what? Uh, for the people who missed my book hauls, I'll show you some books I got. So I got this at a dollar store. <laughs> this is a Judge Dredd novel, this Savage... 
uh, Amusement by, uh, by David Bishop. Yeah, I got this at the dollar store, and I'm like, oh man, a Judge Dredd novel. Which, it's only, uh, 220, 262 pages, that's not bad. No interior art. Or me is it maybe? No, I don't see any interior art. But you know, I thought, eh, we review at some point. I picked up some children DC books. Uh, Justice League: The Portal of Doom by Laurie S. Sutton. This is not for me. This is for um, my nephew. It's like a choose your own adventure book. I like the art style. It's based off the uh, Justice League uh, cartoon, right? And they have like the Hal Jordan. They have they have more out, act, uh, comic accurate versions of uh, Green Lantern and uh, Aquaman. But yeah, I'm not gonna read this. This is yeah, this is for my uh, uh, nephew, and this one's for my uh, for my niece. Uh, this is Wonder Woman: The Amazing Amazon, Cersei's Dark Reign. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to them at some point. <laughs> I'm going to, actually, I'm going to, I, I'm going to be doing some work for, uh, their dad. So, I'm going to hand, hand, uh, this, uh, stuff off to them. Okay, last book I got is, uh, The Unremembered, which is like a fantasy novel by Peter Aurelian. Apparently, this guy works in video games, he... What company did they say he works for? I'm going to double check. Oh, he, he worked for... This guy worked on marketing for Xbox Live and he wrote a book. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like... Oh my god, it's like... It's like 669 pages. That's not bad. You know... Yeah, I'm going to review this at some point. I don't know. Do you guys miss my book reviews? Let me know. But yeah, we're going to finish. Um, I'm, at some point, I'm going to start reading books again and reviewing them on the channel. Because I, I bought like a crap load of books. <laughs> if I don't read and review them, then it, it was a complete waste of time and money. So yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out my reviews. Uh, I don't know. Let's try to get this for the bookmark. For the, you know. For the thumbnail. So, yeah. Like, like comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my reviews. Uh, I, um, I did a new podcast for uh, a Talk You Underground Radio. Um, and uh, we're doing Hero Clicks. Um, demo we do we do hero clicks games and i'm probably this week i'm probably going to do a spider-man family uh game um, either spider-man family versus green green goblin and his for enforcers or uh sinister syndicate well we'll, we'll decide all right guys i